Alright everyone, so if you have been using your old iPad for quite a long time and now realizing that your iPad is running slow and at this point you're looking for ways to make it faster than ever before. Well, if you're having this problem and maybe that's why you're watching this video and in this video we're going to be showing you how you can make your old iPad faster like it's before. Now let's go ahead and see this process and let's make it faster again. Okay, so the first things we're going to talk about here is to check your update whether is there any new update available for your iPad or not. And to check it out, go ahead and open your settings and now tap general now over here and tap software update and wait for the time being and check whether your iPad has new software available or not. If you find out a new software available, then go ahead and do it. Hopefully that will help you and that will make your iPad a little faster than before. And next things, all you're gonna talk about is clean your iPad RAM. So if you don't clean your iPad RAM for quite a long time, that problem can happen any wrong time. So therefore, you need to clean your RAM. So if you ask us how, here is how. To do that, go ahead and open your settings. Now tap General. From here, tap Accessibility. Come over here and tap Assistive Touch. Now toggle on your Assistive Touch first. After turning on your assistive touch on your old iPad, now to clean your RAM, just go ahead and press and hold your power button, just like that. And then here you'll be able to see your assistive touch available on here. Go ahead and tap on that. And from here, go ahead and tap and hold your home button around 5 to 10 seconds. And you will see automatically it will go back to your main menu, just like that. Once you see that your one, you know, screen is flashed, that means your RAM has cleaned now. Alright guys, so in the next process, all you're going to talk about is reducing your motion on your old iPad. Now to do that, go ahead and tap Settings. And now, tap Accessibility. Now come over here, then you'll be able to see that option called Reduce Motion. So just go ahead and just open it up. And from here, it's actually telling you to reduce the motion of your use interface including the parallax effect on icons so if you just go ahead and just turn it on then it will be i mean it will allow your ipad to reduce that motion so that your ipad can get a little faster than before well in the next process we're going to talk about is removing your running apps on the background of your ipad what happens if you're using let's say too many apps at a time then your ipad can run slower so in that case, all you can do is just go ahead and just double tap on your uh, main button or the menu button, just like that. And then you'll be able to see, let me just do it again, you'll be able to see that how many apps you're actually using on the background. And just go ahead and just stream one by one, just like that. And now let's go ahead and check it one more time. Well, as you guys can see that every app has been deleted since this home button. All right, guys, in that way, you can just, you know, make your old iPad a little faster than before. Okay, guys, the next process, all you're going to talk about, we're going to talk about is turning off your apps refresh on your old iPad. Well, if you just go ahead and open your settings and then tap general and then come down over here and then you'll be able to see this option called a background app refresh and just go ahead and open it up. And if you see that it is turned on, well, that can be the cause of running your iPad slower. So all you can do here, go ahead and toggle it off and hopefully it will reduce that speed. I mean, it will actually allow your apps to refresh their content. I mean, it'll, it'll literally turn it off. So in that way, you'll be able to run your iPad faster than usual. All right, guys, these are the five ways that literally you can use in water to make your old iPad running faster. Hopefully our tips was helpful. If you find this video helpful, you can let us know or if your iPad is still slow or if you're still having this sluggish problem, you can let us know in the comment box as well. And if you find this video, please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Alright guys, see you in the next video.